What's going on guys? In this video, I made yet another upgrade to my soldering station. Let's get right into it. So let's talk about the next upgrade to my soldering station. This just came in the mail. Let's go crack this box open the only way we know how. So what are the reasons why I'm changing from this iron? When I bought it, it, it was like $20. I had no intention of doing the amount of soldering that I do currently. So that's the major reason for the upgrade. Number two is the tip is starting to go. Uh, and that's mostly by design of the iron. You see, this comes with the sponge, you wet the sponge, and then you take it and you clean the iron off. And it works great but you're damaging the tip doing that. What happens is this tip reacts a lot like glass does. If you've ever taken a, a hot glass and poured cold water into it, and it cracks and breaks. The same thing is going on at a molecular level on the, this tip. I was getting to the point of having to replace this iron tip. And this iron tip, for the amount of abuse I've put it through, I've had for a good couple of years. Uh, I just couldn't see spending five or eight dollars or whatever these cost when the whole iron itself is like 20 bucks Whatever, you know, it's just it, it didn't make sense. The other issue that I had with this iron is Where the heating element is The heating element is inside here So it takes a little bit for the, the heat to transfer up to the tip So this thing would take forever I'd plug it in and just wait and wait and it's like five minutes for the tip to heat up the other issue I would have is I would do a couple of solder joints and then by the second or third one, you can there's a noticeable di difference between the first joint and the third joint and the first joint and even the second joint. The, the tip just loses too much. It, it just loses too much heat. The, the heat transfer is just immense. And most of that is just because the, the body of the, the tip here does not really have a lot of material to it to retain any heat. Uh, but you know, it's just it, It's not the best Much like this. It's not the best. So I've decided to upgrade to the Hakko FX951 and The major differences to this one over my other soldering iron and again, there's a ton I so I'm not gonna be able to go into all of them but the quick change interchangeable tips uh, Inside of this tip, and this, that's the other thing I got. This is a, uh, this is a conical tip. And again, a lot of people scoff at the conical tips. Don't worry, I have others that are on the way. These ones just happen to come in sooner because nobody really likes conical tips and they're in stock. So there's that. But anyways, I've got two conical tips. And you'll see one of them this one here is a super fine tip for doing super fine work. And then this is your normal conical tip, which is kind of a, it's an all around tip. This is the type of tip that I've been using. And the other thing is the heating element is inside of this. So when you replace your tip, you also replace the heating element. So that's kind of a plus. It allows this, when the heating element is in here, it, it, what's nice is when the heating element is in here, the tip heats up faster. Something like this conical tip, I've got a lot more meat right here, which is going to allow it to retain heat while I'm making solder joints. So what's nice about having interchangeable tips, and Hacko sells these for about five bucks. This is a nice little finger grip. And the way this works is you take your tip, stick it right through there, and pop it in place. So now you take your pencil and this has a couple of clips here and here, a clip right there and there, and it just clips right in like that. So if any of you are interested in the FX951 or any of the other tools I speak about in this video or even some of my previous videos, there's links below to all these products. So 
So my major problem with this old iron is the tip to grip. I, this is like four inches plus, and it did not really allow for very intricate, tight work. Now, if I place these next to one another, you can quickly tell the tip to grip is almost cut in half. So with this one, I can do a lot more intricate work. I am, I am excited about that. The other thing that I like is this wire is extremely supple. It does not impede my range of motion at all. I mean, this thing, everywhere I went, I always felt this thing on the back of the iron kind of dictating where the tip goes. That was another major issue that I had with this iron. So then we get into the soldering station itself. And some of you might be asking, well, why did you go with this one? There's the 888D that is a much cheaper. And to that, I say, well, that one doesn't allow you to put the micro pencils. Hacko makes a micro pencil smaller than this. And you're probably now wondering, well, why do I need a micro pencil? Well, I'm working on a very, uh, I'm working on a project that it requires very small soldering. And while I could do it with this, and while this tip is going to make it even easier, this, this small conical tip, uh, my thought process is beyond what I'm currently working on. I am thinking three, four, five years ahead. And if I'm working on a small micro quad, that is pushing my soldering abilities currently. What are we gonna be putting into the air in a, a year, five years, 10 years from now? My thought is we're gonna get like super micro. I don't even know what we call it because I think we've mismanaged our words already. I feel like the direction in this hobby is going to go to a lot of the small FPV copters. I mean, super small, it's something that will fit in the palm of your hand and smaller and smaller and smaller. So I, I, I see the need for a micro pencil eventually. So I decided to get the, hot, uh, the, the iron that will accept the micro pencil. What's nice about this is it's got a little plug in the back and it plugs in to the, the soldering holder and that acts as a sleep timer. So as soon as you put it in there, the iron goes to sleep, and then as soon as you take it out, it's back up to heat in, I think it's like three to five seconds or something like that, which gets me into the next thing. This is a 75 watt iron, and the 888D, I believe is only a 60 or a 65 watt iron. Again, I'm thinking ahead. I have a beast class build coming up, and I want the hotter iron. I want the capability, so this is why I bought some of the, the, the thicker tips. I've got a chisel point tip coming that has a lot of meat behind it to work on some of the, I, I think there's like 12 gauge wire and uh, I think 10 and maybe even eight gauge wire in that build. And just from using my old soldering iron on some of those wires, it takes forever to heat up. So that's another reason why I went with this specific iron. It's got the higher wattage. Moving on to the holder, there's a couple of distinct differences. Again, here's, that's the switch. It plugs into there. That activates your sleep timer. Uh, the pencil fits in there a lot easier. And it doesn't make that ridiculous noise. I mean, that's gonna be a lot easier on your ears. A little nicer on the ears. Just a quick click, iron falls asleep, iron's awake. Also, this comes with a much better way to clean the iron. You just take this and dip it in there. What this is is a brass sponge. This is also removable for cleaning. You take the top off, pull this out, chuck this, and uh, throw a new one in there, and then you can dump out the bottom. Uh, but what's nice about this material is it will collect the solder straight off the tip of the iron and you're not really cooling the iron as much as you are in a wet sponge. So the iron tip is going to last a hell of a lot longer. And then this just sits right there inside of here and it's got a nice big hole. 
The reason I like this one over the 888D is the 888D, you're kind of going through plastic to get to the sponge and the hole is a lot smaller. So you're gonna muck up the whole front of this thing. Um, this one, this is metal. You're not really gonna muck it up as much and you've got a nice hole that you can reach in for. So that is a much nicer base station than the 888D. And this also comes with a little rubber pad to work with and it's got a key and it looks like some kind of a, a plastic key ring to hook the key up and the key is to adjust the station temperatures so you can set it forget it and then you just turn it on and off and you're good so lastly it comes with this little holder what this allows you to do is just place your tips right in there like that and it's also got a hole in the center which I'm not really sure what that exactly is for but these little grippy things these little grippy things one will fit right in the center there so I, I guess you can work that it just that just doesn't make sense to me um, because if you've got these things all around you are not going to be able to get to it even if you take out one you'd have to take out two in order to get enough fingers to get in there and pinch it to pull it out uh, but likely the way i'll be doing it is leaving the tip inside just like that and then you just put that in every other every other hole and you'll be able to hold one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll be able to hold six tips doing that that way. And uh, I don't anticipate having more than probably four. So there's that. The other reason I like the solder station so much, it's got my colors. The blue, the gold, the yellow. Yeah. So that is the Hakko FX951. Yeah, so this is going to be a welcome upgrade to not only this channel, but to my soldering, my quad building and whatnot. I have the Beast Class build coming up. I've got the prototype I'm working on with talks of another one. And I mean, I'm just getting super excited over those. I can't wait to share that with you. Um, yes, teaser film will be out for those uh, eventually. Uh, just, you know, there's a couple things that are going on that are uh, not permitting that yet, but that's on the way. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and just punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once and it's fun. And I'll catch you later. Peace.